Support for Radio Friends comes from OsteoStrong. Improvements in bone density, strength, and power can be achieved by weekly five-minute no-sweat sessions on their four-spectrum machines. These isometric robotic machines safely emulate high-impact loading on different parts of the skeletal system, which stimulates activity in bone-building cells. Balance and agility can be improved by two-minute sessions on vibration plates. Every session is supervised by a trained coach. Learn more on Facebook or call to set up a complimentary wellness assessment and session. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, April the 1st. This is April Fool's Day and we're glad to have you with us. And Well, she's <laughs> not here in the studio with us. She's Zooming again this morning. <laughs> Miss Barbara Buffalo. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Paul. Maybe that's the April Fool's. It's like, April <laughs> Fool's, I'm not a real person. Yeah. I'm just a bot. <laughs> well, you know what? You you told me you'll be getting your second uh, vaccination so very soon. So the I next time... I am so excited. Yes. I've had my first one. I'll be getting my second one uh, in about a week. And I tell you, I, am, I too, I feel very good about it. I'm very excited about that. So the next time you're on, you should be able to come down here in the studio with us. I should be able to. I'm so excited. I mean, like, I don't know if you know this, Paul, but I'm an extrovert. Yes, I, I noticed that. I noticed that. You know, we, we were talking about the talking about the shots. It's so hard for me. <laughs> when I got that first shot, Barb, I felt so emotional about it. I, I felt like it was a real game changer. It affected me, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how you felt about that. Oh, I did. it was like uh, the whole time I was giggling. I mean, you you could probably expect that, but I would be laughing. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, it's really happening. Yay. Yeah, really, really, because we've waited so long. But anyway, we're here today I know. to talk about trees, right? <laughs> Not to talk about vaccines. <laughs> Barbara we Buffalo. We are, we are. <laughs> The, with the city of Columbia, all right, Barbara Buffalo, city of Columbia, we're talking about trees. And what is it you want to get across about the trees? We, we, we are talking about trees, not vaccines. But um, so I think what April, you know, it's spring, right? So everybody's thinking about getting out. And one of the things that, you know, my office, we talk about climate change and climate action. And one of the things that we can do is really think about well, this is kind of related to vaccines, the science of it. Right. And so for us, it's kind of the natural science that we have to use to help us. We are not going to meet our emission reduction goals in this city if we only focus on mitigation. Like mitigation are things like using less energy, uh, recycling more and wasting less, and thinking about how we get around like transportation. Those are extremely important for reducing climate change. Uh, and our impacts on climate change. But the other piece of this is how we also are thinking about um, our adaptation and also carbon sequestration, which is like, what can we do to pull the carbon out of the atmosphere that's already there? And do you know what does a really good job at that? Oh yeah, it's trees. Trees. It is trees. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, so trees can help us in multiple ways. Oh, sorry, go, go on, Paul. Sorry, well, I was going to say, you know, the ocean also does that. And then any, any, mm. any green living plant helps to do that, yeah. to clean the yeah. air. Uh, but trees, yeah, I guess... Yeah, you have Nadia on, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. You have Nadia on often talking about our native plants and the importance that they play, and they, especially for resilience and like our changing climate. They can help with that. And trees, they do a few things. One, one is they help us with those mitigation actions, right? They help us with, if, we, if we're planted on the southern and west sides of our homes, they help shade our house and keep it cool in the summer. Um, and then if we also think about it, they're also like helping provide um, kind of canopy over our streets and sidewalks so that we don't have those hot spots. Like parking lots that don't have trees are often a lot hotter than parking lots that do have trees. And it's because the trees are shading. But the one thing that um, we also want to talk about is the fact that trees, besides shading us, they're also pulling carbon out of the atmosphere and storing it. And that is so important. So one of the things that we encourage people to do is to find out how trees work. So Missouri Department of Conservation has a trees work campaign where you can go on and see like the value of your trees and how they're helping you. Um, but one of the other things um, that the city does is we partner with the Arbor Day Foundation. And so um, this Saturday, actually, April 3rd, 
uh, Columbia Parks and Rec is going to be having their tree giveaway for Arbor Day. Um, so I'm going to send you the information to post on the screen, but it's at the Rainbow Softball Complex. Um, and that's April 3rd from 8 a.m. until all the trees are gone. And so you can do your part. Yeah. What kind of trees will they be giving away? Yeah, so they usually have um, a variety of trees. Like in the past, they've had uh, oaks, um, red buds, sycamores, like everything from small flowering shrubs to big shade trees and everything in between. And they're all native species to Missouri. So they'll all work in where we are, but definitely um, make sure you know before you dig, right? Before you're gonna plant the tree and find out all the information on where you wanna put it and where it's gonna survive best. Right. Is there a cost for the trees or are they giving it away free? Nope. This is this is part of our, our partnership with the Arbor Day Foundation. That's nice. All the trees are free, first come, first serve. And how many trees uh, are allotted per person? I think it's just one. That's what it's been in the past. Okay. Um, because this is a popular event. We want it to spread. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing that we didn't talk about is the fact that trees also... Mm hold the soil in place they hold the soil in place instead of when you get heavy rain if there are no trees and vegetation the the topsoil washes away but if you've got trees the roots are holding back the soil and keeping it from washing away into streams and rivers yeah yeah trees are really amazing and i think it's it, they they work really well with our ecosystem if you think about it you want to have both trees as well as you want to have those shrubs and other tor um, low low bushes and items like that to really hold the soil as well as like, I don't know. I just love them. Don't you? They're just I do. fantastic. <laughs> I do. And you know, there's nothing nicer than on a very hot summer afternoon to sit under a, a big oak shade tree and have a glass of cold lemonade or eat some ice cold <laughs> watermelon. There's nothing better than that on a summer day. It's true. It's true. Yeah. And I think one of the things that we're seeing right now, it's the start of spring. You're starting to see the buds happen. Um, it's also the time when all of my allergies come out, but I just can't get mad at the trees. No, <laughs> not at all. Me. You know, and we take uh, so many of us uh, just take it for granted. We're, we're, we're fortunate in this area that we do live in communities that have a lot of trees, but you think of some folks who don't have that, who don't have the blessing of the trees, and we need to take advantage of that. We need to take care of them, and we need to appreciate it. So if, pe if people want more information, Barb, on, uh, on the tree giveaway, what do they do? Mm -hmm. Um, so you can find us at como.gov and just search um, for the Arbor Day. Look at our calendar. Calendar. You could also find us on Facebook. Uh, the Office of Sustainability really sharing items. So Como Sustainability is our is our hashtag. Okay, we got it. Thank you so much, and it's good seeing you on Zoom. Hopefully next time we'll see you right here in the studio. Okay. Yes. 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 And uh, if, if that shot's available to you, please take it. And when you go out and about, wear your mask. It's important. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperpmissouri.edu. I'd love to hear from you.